Hello, Internet. She loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with Geeks Under Grace. Com. And before we go on to the news, I do want to give an update to the Charlie Hebdo story. One of the suspects turned himself in, and then the other two held hostages, and there was a shooting, but they are now dead. Also, Charlie Hebdo will be releasing its next issue next week. And because of extra support from a lot of different people, they're actually going to be able to print more than they usually do. Which, to me, is a very good thing. I mean, if you have somebody and they are threatening your human right... Don't let them. And there was one more thing that I wanted to bring up with this. I watched some other guys' videos talking about this, and I looked at mine, and mine didn't seem as emotional as everyone else's. So just don't think for one second that I do not care, or I'm not angry or sad about what happened. I guess I just didn't respond like it was the first time it has happened in a while, because it is happening every day in the Middle East. So whatever emotion that the Charlie Hebdo shooting gave you, hold on to that and remember that that is still an ongoing problem. But anyways, moving on to something a little bit lighter, evolution versus creationism, because that was the best I could come up with. More specifically, we're talking about a biophysicist named Jeff Harden. A new article has come out because he had said something on what is called the Faith Angle Forum. Basically, they take certain topics and then they look at them with a Christian perspective. And he said something that I thought was really interesting in the forum, and that was forget evolution versus creationism, because within creationism itself, there is at least six different major views. Saying that creationism has basically become the idea of the 6,000-year-old Earth, but there are creationists out there that still believe in evolution made with intelligent design. And this is why I think there's such issues with things like the Bill Nye vs. Ken Ham debate. I think the debate would have been much more interesting if they were talking about intelligent design, whether or not that could be the case, instead of 6,000-year-old Earth versus billions of year old Earth. I think it's just something we need to remember in multiple, multiple cases, is that not everything is black and white. Next up, I want to talk about Andre Crouch, who recently passed away due to a heart attack at 72. He's a little bit before my time. I don't know too much about him, but from what I've read, he paved the way for Christian gospel music. Meaning a lot of the music that you listen to in church today is probably linked in some way to him. And so for that, whether I knew his name or not, I am grateful for what he has done. And our final story of the day is movie news. We usually put movie news like in the middle of the news day just because it's usually unimportant. But the movie we're talking about today is getting kind of a lot of controversy. It's called Killing Jesus. And that controversy revolves around the actor Haas Slayman. I'm probably saying that wrong again. So, Killing Jesus is supposed to be kind of a historical movie on the death of Jesus. And so a lot of Christians are kind of upset because Haas Slayman happens to be Muslim. The actor was born in Lebanon and then he moved to the United States. But a lot of Christians are really upset that they have a Muslim Jesus. In fact, I heard a lot of people actually ask the question, shouldn't we have a Christian Jesus actor? Which I do want to point out that I don't believe in that at all. I mean, if we can actually get Hollywood to make some decent Christian movies, then just let them do it. Personally, I think the guy's going to do great. I really don't care that he's Muslim. But that is going to be my question for you guys. Do you think that a Muslim actor should portray Jesus or not? Do you think it's okay? Do you think it's not okay? Please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Always curious to what you guys have to say. Make sure to check out geeksandgrace.com. My name is Cody Armour. bringing you Christian news in a not-so-boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters say it. Let the Christians pray. And to everybody like subscribe, I will see you later. And God bless, guys. Bye.